Tablet Power System Installation. Okay, here we are. We're going to install a one tablet power PoE kit. And what this kit is going to do is provide um, 24 volts over a Ethernet cable. Uh, you can use just standard Cat5e if you'd like, up to uh, 320 feet away from this location. So if you're having tablets that are having trouble keeping charged, this kit will solve that problem for you. It is designed for a PoE um, power over Ethernet, uh, and it will keep your tablets charged even when the display is on 24-7. So uh, this kit here comprises of three components. You have the power adapter from 110 to 24 volt DC, and it is rated at uh, 0.5 amp, so it's 500 milliamps, half an amp. And we're going to be installing this, which is the uh, splitter. It's going to take uh, Ethernet, and um, it's going to take the power from the power supply and inject it in. I'm sorry, not a splitter, but the injector, and take that out. Plug your Cat5 into this end, and uh, you're going to have power on the other end. And on the other end of the tablet, we're going to be installing this splitter, which will take Ethernet in and split out Ethernet out and the power out, which you can use an adapter to connect to an Apple tablet, Android tablet, whatever you feel like. So these are the three components. Now this is the uh, power side. So we're going to we're going to have a we have a power strip here that's connected to a UPS. Uh, that's going to be protected um, from power surges and such. But we are not using the power from the UPS and battery backup because the tablet itself has a battery that will run four, five, six hours. So there's no use to draw power from the batteries for that. We're going to save that battery power for other systems. So first thing we're going to do here is just plug in the power supply. Take the power supply cable. We're going to plug it into the injector like that. We're going to take the Ethernet cable, which we've labeled with uh, which tablet it's coming from. And we're going to plug that into here. And that's it. We're done. We're up and running. And on the other end, we're going to put the uh, splitter and that, plug that into the to the um, tablet. All right. Any questions? Please please email us or call us. Enjoy. Okay. So here we have the tablet end. We're going to go ahead and install the um, power splitter and our tablet. So just to go over what we got here real quick. We've got a single gang box in the wall. We have our tablet wall mount. And we have our Cat5e wire ran with a RJ45 connector on the end. Uh, one thing I want to mention about the wiring and the connectors, if you do uh, your own plugs here, just make sure you do the exact same wiring configuration on this side of the plug that's on the other end of the plug at the power side. If you do that, you should be good. So let's go ahead and we're going to take uh, the splitter here and we're going to go ahead and plug the splitter into the RJ45. Now, if you do decide to do this in a single gang box, it's going to be tight, but you should be able to fit everything in there, no problem. Just tuck everything in the box, like so. Now, the only thing you should have left out here is your power cable. Now, in this installation, the tablet slides into the, to the uh, wall mount here, and we're going to use a... Um, let's see, this is a USB micro straight. You can see the uh, connector is a USB micro that is straight on. There's no 45 on it. And then the other end has a the female plug that plugs into the power cable like that. Now we do uh, carry these in, let's see, USB micro, USB mini, USB micro 45, USB female, and the Apple 30 pin. We have all those, all those on our site and you can... Uh, you know, mix and match, pick whatever you want for your type of installation. So we got that on there, so let's go ahead and slide the tablet in. The tablet's going to go, this is a Nexus 7. It's going to slide in like this. And you see we have a little cutout for the wire and the plug. So this is going to slide over that way. We're going to plug a cable in and slide it all over like that. And that's it. We're done with the installation. It's that easy. 
All right. Thanks a lot, guys.